Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Magnet Man's Laboratory. Um, what you're looking at right here is the Schumann receiver that I made and I mounted onto my uh, coil controller. In the, in the background there you can see I'm using eight big FETs to drive my coils and a PIC chip right in the middle, a little microprocessor. Um, and that is for the coil controller. And then right there is the Schumann receiver. Now if you go over here, that is the antenna for the Schumann receiver. Then what we have over here is another coil just like it that's hooked up to that particular generator over there. Uh, this generator here, as you'll notice, it's off right now. Then up here, let me zoom out, what we have is my service monitor and it's set to output a sine wave at 7.3 Hertz. Now this is an IFR 1200S, very nice machine, very accurate. That's what I'm using for my reference frequency. Now if you notice the output goes directly over here to the oscilloscope. Okay, and you'll see that there's a lithogy pattern there of the Schumann frequency. There it is. Right there, you can see it pretty good right there. There you go. There's your Lissajou pattern at 7.3 hertz. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my assistant turn on this generator here. Okay, and this one's also set to 7 hertz. Well, eight, there you go, 7 hertz. Now, if you'll notice here, bring it back to the scope, see how the signal's bigger? Because we, we're ac I'm actually transmitting the 7 hertz right through the air. Now if we come back over here see how these two coils are a certain uh, length apart? Now watch this. Uh, I'm going to have my assistant move the coil over closer. Okay, that's good enough. Then we're going to go back up to the scope and look how big the signal got on the scope. Okay, now <clears throat> what I'm going to have her do is turn that turn off the this generator here all right, so we're not transmitting anymore. Boom, so the signal goes down, but look, there's still a resonance there. You still can see the lithogy pattern. Just, there you go, oh, right there, it's nice and clear. Come on camera, work with me, there we go. Now if you'll notice, the, the, lith the, the signal strength went down considerably because the Schumann resonance is a very, very weak signal. Now, during different times of the day, this will get bigger and smaller, depending on the atmosphere. But as you can see, there's the pattern is still there. Now, there is also a few other frequencies mixed with it, but but not many. the The seven point three is the is the you know the the, the relevant frequency, the um, pre prevalent frequency, I guess you would call it. And if you can see, I'm I'm running about the scopes on five volts per division and the other side's on 50 millivolts per division. <clears throat> so, there we have it, people. There's your Schumann resonance. It does exist, and it is uh, obtainable. So, thank you very much. Um, the circuit is for sale. This particular one here is what you'll get. The plans for that receiver right there. The uh, coil controller and the other thing are separate, but this is uh, this is the receiver right here. It's uh, two, two ICs and, and a bunch of capacitors and resistors. And, that, and that's coil, you're going to have to make that. It's just a bunch of wraps is all it is. Okay, well thank you. Bye.